Hello, my name is Craig Mason from MIPIM. This is a new series called Property Influencers, where we talk to some of the top people in the real estate and property market. I'm here with Jacques Ferrier, who is an architect based in Paris. Uh, also, jury member of the MIPIM Awards for this year. Welcome, Mr. Ferrier. Thank you. In terms of rethink, if you were to rethink the, the property industry and the way properties are developed and the types of properties that are developed, what are the areas that you think should be focused on? I think one of the main areas I'm interested in is the relationship in between architecture and technology. If you think to office space, and also you could talk about housing or public building, it seems, it seems that during the 20th century, uh, technology has taken a huge uh, place in the building. I mean, for the best, since we have uh, uh, air conditioning, we have light artificial lighting, uh, uh, all sorts of things which allow us to, li to, to live in cities of uh, millions of inhabitants, but in a way it has invaded our universe and today I think we have to rethink to this relationship, asking to the technology to be more performant, more innovative, but to disappear. That means that we want the benefit of technology, but we don't want to be anymore surrounded by all ar many artifacts, which in a way are a sort of obstacle to the senses and to a very simple relation relationship between the, the men and, and the space mm. they work or they live in. What for you are the, the biggest trends that are starting to shape the property industry right now? And, and, um, yeah, and how do you see these trends sort of influencing the way that buildings are designed and cities are designed? I mean, there are sometimes two contradictory trends. I mean, uh, if you think to Asia or China, where you have a huge uh, need of new uh, buildings uh, every month, uh, office, housing, etc. There is a trend to go directly for efficiency and for a sort of uh, uh, generic way of planning, uh, planning the city. And this produces, in my way, uh, urban uh, world without any quality. Even if in terms, let's say, in energy or in durability, uh, you achieve some, some goal, but there, there are urban places where you have no soul, no identity, no sense of place. So I think the other trend is that people are asking more and more to have a sort of mixing of architecture and nature. And I think it's a very good direction. I mean, now we know that we are in a, these huge urban territories, and I think that each building has to carry its own landscape. You can't rely. You can't rely on the fact that you are doing density here, and that there you are going to have later on a public park or a green, etc. So I prefer to discuss with my client of the idea, saying that we have to contribute to to the city by giving a piece of nature, a piece of landscape, and. It's also going to be obviously a benefit for the people who are going to use uh, the building because they are going to have a, a space to meet, to relax, uh, because big buildings today are also public in a way, play the role of a public space for people to meet and, uh, and to discuss. But also it's, uh, it could be a marketing uh, point saying that this building is more attractive because it has this, uh, this uh, natural uh, way uh, to, to to work. So. What's your what's your vision of cities of the future, and what would you like to see? I mean, mixed use mixed use in for a building or build building or for pieces of a city is obviously uh, an issue. But on the other way, if you if you want, definitely we want to reduce the time of transportation. But I think it's good that people move in the city. If you go back to the Middle Ages. It was uh, the city in the Middle Ages was a perfect example of mixed use. But people were not moving at all in the city. There are the shops, uh, the, the small factories, they were living 
at the upper floor. And when you read the literature and the history, you see that the area around the shop and the house was the universe of the people living in the city. I think one of the benefits of a contemporary city is it's open onto the world, it's open because you move. But you have to find the right, the, the good compromise, saying that uh, more than one hour commuting, obviously it's a long, it's a long time, but to, to have 15 minutes, half an hour uh, transportation time in the city, if it's uh, with a public transportation system, energy efficient, it's a, good, uh, it's a good thing for the city. So the challenge for Europe is to focus on this peripheral uh, territory where most of the people live and to forget a little about the prestige and about the, yes, the, 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 the glamour side of the historical center. And it's true for Vienna, it's true uh, for many cities uh, in Europe. It's this to, to balance the, the attraction of a center and to think to the urban territory with many centers. And it's going to be uh, quite uh, demanding for the architects, for the urban planners, but at the very first stage for the political authorities to, to think on this territory as a whole. It's the way it's, uh, uh, there is this uh, project called Grand Paris, which is working on, on this scale, and this is very promising, I hope. Uh, MIPIM is an event, it's bringing together companies and people from right across the world and from across many sectors. How important is this event uh, to, your, to you and your company, and, and what do you think the value it brings? I think it's more and more important for architects. I mean, uh, first time I was in MIPIM, which was, I think, six years ago, and we are, we are not so, 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 many, so many architects now. It's, it begins to be also, uh, there is a MIPIM, but there is also, uh, it's also a place where many architects in Europe meet uh, together. So it's important for architects. It's important to see what's going on in uh, many places, we have to see the, the model of London or some, some other countries. And you can feel or not the energy of, of a market. You can see the energy of different cities. And I think uh, for myself, um, there is one thing is that you meet people you work with or you want to work with, but also it, uh, it gives an impulse for, for the future because you, you get some, uh, some ideas uh, in a sort of direct connection with, uh, uh, yes, with, with the reality, with the market. It's very interesting to see that all the projects I have uh, presented, I have presented three projects during the two days. It was always with a mayor, the mayor and very often with a developer. And that's, I think, the very good uh, point with a meeting, to show that a good project is a project you share and that you can't stay in different worlds, the worlds of a developer, the world of a city, uh, uh, politic uh, and the architecture. That's what I like with a meeting. All right, well, thank you very much for your thank time. Thank you.